Hi, good evening to you both. Yes, all five of those New Haven police officers have been hit with reckless endangerment and cruelty charges, which are both misdemeanors. Now, the attorneys for Randy Cox say tonight that this is a step in the right direction, but it still doesn't change the fact that Cox's life will never be the same. It's been a long journey for Randy Cox since he was arrested by New Haven police officers on June 19th. What's happened here today is never going to change the fact that Randy Cox is paralyzed from the neck down. Cox is still getting help at a short-term care facility in West Haven, just barely able to move. He is making small um, improvements in his uh, right and left arm. Five months ago, Cox was in the back of a New Haven police van without seatbelts when the officer stopped short to avoid a crash and he hit his head. Since then, the state's attorney's office has been looking into how the officers handled this case. All five of them have now been formally charged. It's hard to see officers charged, but it's also part of what we've been talking about since the beginning. We need to be transparent and accountable, period. Officers Oscar Diaz, Jocelyn Lavandier, Ronald Presley, Luis Rivera, and Sergeant Betsy Sege all turning themselves in Monday after the Connecticut State Police issued warrants for their arrest. The city of New Haven is committed to accountability for all individuals involved in this tragic incident. In each arrest warrant, the state's attorney says that Cox was never told by any of the officers, including Officer Diaz, who was driving the van, to hold on to the straps while they were driving. He goes on to say each officer, quote, engaged in reckless conduct through their actions when Richard Cox was rendered immobile as a result of his injuries and depriving Richard Cox of proper physical care as a result the affiant believes the probable cause exists. We've made lots of improvements in training since the Randy Cox incident, and we're proud of that, and we're going to continue to do whatever it takes so this doesn't happen again. Now, all five of those officers are still on paid administrative leave, the chief tells us. And you're probably wondering what happens next. Well, now it's the police department's turn to pick back up that internal investigation to see if they need to discipline these officers in any way. Plus, we expect all five of them to be back in court on December 8th. Of course, we will be there. We're live here in New Haven tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.